This is the Behind the Line podcast, and this is Pacific Northwest Headlines in three minutes. For December 27th, 2021, a severe weather cold snap has hit the Pacific Northwest that will continue through the end of the week with temperatures below freezing expected until Thursday or Friday. Most of the roads are covered with compact snow and ice and are creating dangerous driving conditions. If you don't have to go out, don't. Over two dozen flights were canceled at SeaTac over the weekend, affecting holiday travel plans. There were also hundreds of delays. The airlines are attributing many of these to employees calling in sick with COVID. Delta Airlines said Monday that new pandemic-related cleaning requirements at a Shanghai airport were behind the turning back of a recent flight from Seattle in mid-air, a move that had prompted a protest from the Chinese consulate in San Francisco. An emailed statement said the new mandates at Shanghai Pudong International Airport require significantly, significantly extended ground time and are not operationally viable for Delta. An Ada County 911 dispatcher helped a woman deliver a baby over the phone on Christmas Day. Emergency 911 dispatcher Kima Wilkinson got to tap into the spirit of the season Saturday when she helped an Idaho couple through the sudden birth of their baby son. Oregon's new drug price transparency project finds eye-popping prescription costs in a report from the Oregonian. Joan Morgan's father faced a $10,000 a month price tag for a drug to keep him alive after he was found to suffer from a rare genetic mutation, she told Oregon regulators earlier this month, but that figure pales in comparison to other high-cost drugs detailed in a new state report previewed at the hearing, which was held by the state's prescription drug price transparency program. Genetic therapies from global biopharmaceutical company Bristol-Myers Squibb topped the list of pricey new drugs reported to the program. Abecma was the most expensive at $419,500 for a single infusion made from a patient's own immune cells. No human being should have to pay that much for prescription drugs. An Oregon father of four who told President Biden, let's go Brandon on Christmas Eve, phone call said he meant it in jest. I have nothing against Mr. Biden, but I am frustrated because I think he can be doing a better job. No kidding. Let's go Brandon. Washington Initiative promoter Tim Iman, who earlier this year was found liable for years of violations of Washington's campaign finance laws and owes a state more than $5 million, is facing the court-ordered sale of his assets. This has been Headlines in Three Minutes. For more, visit BehindTheLinePodcast.com. Thanks for listening.